What's up everyone, I'm Stephen here with Tiny House Listings and I'm here at my father's property, a uh, tiny house out here in Regalwood, North Carolina, the location of the upcoming workshop uh, where we're doing some hands-on building and stuff like that. Uh, click on the link in the description below and you can get more information on that. Uh, but recently we found out that the refrigerator that came with this tiny house was power hungry. We actually knew it for a while, but it was draining all of the batteries that um, we use for the solar setup. And uh, so my father downsized to this much smaller 3.1 cubic feet uh, fridge made by Frigidaire. Nice little setup and it's actually the, the most energy efficient one that we could find. It uses a little less than half of the power that the one before did. But to squeeze things even tighter, we recently bought this little gadget uh, and it's a timer. So what's going to happen is in the middle of the night or like roughly 10 o'clock, uh, this will turn the fridge off and then it'll turn back on at whatever time we set. You can kind of, we'll get into here in a second, but uh, I thought I'd share this with you and uh, maybe it's something you can use for your off-grid setup. The way this little device works is it has little pins and whichever ones you press down, whenever it gets to that time, what'll happen is whatever's connected into this device will just turn off. So for example, my father's told me that he wants his fridge to turn off at 10 in the evening and cut back on at 6 a.m. So we'll push down all the pins between 10 p.m. and 6 a.m. The next thing we have to do is set it to the current time. And to do that, you just turn the dial and set it to 3.15 p.m. All right, so earlier I had it backwards. You're supposed to press down all of the times that you actually want it to be on and leave up the times that you want it to turn off. You see, it's like 3.20 right now, the time. And so the fridge is on and we tested it earlier. Whenever you set it to a position, uh, you know, that you want it to turn off, it will it'll automatically just turn it off. The way to make sure we hold plenty of cool in there is that my father's going to put a two liter or something roughly that size water bottle up here and have it remain frozen all the time. And then uh, in the middle of the night, there's less chance of everything cool or getting warmed up. Yeah, so when you're living off grid, having the, doing these little things like this really add up. It could be the difference between paying for an expensive solar setup or one of maybe a little bit less size because uh, you need less batteries, less panels because you're using less energy. And uh, there's other examples of things you could use this for. You could use it for lights. You could use it for, uh, like for example, this comes in a two pack. So dad's gonna be using it for like his cable modem uh, that runs for satellite at night because I think it runs like 20 watts or something like that. So in the middle of the night, it'll turn off. Yeah, so anyway, it's just a quick little gadget. I thought you guys would be interested. And um, let me know if you have any other devices that you've used or any ideas for power saving. Uh, if you live off grid, let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, we'll see you on the next video and thanks for watching.